Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our ACDA 10 and 12 diaphragmatic absorbers. A lot of questions from people about how this process differs from other technologies. So let's walk through some of the steps inside the unit and so you get an idea how it works. Low frequency is a pressure. Low frequency pressure. This is the operative word here. You got to distinguish pressure from the other kind of energy that we have to work with, with winds and highs, right? Which it works on airflow. This is a pressure-based technology, big pressure waves going through the room. You can see in the graphic here what the pressure wave looks like to the room because the room only sees energy. You don't see it, but this is what the room sees, okay? Huge pressure waves. So they strike the cabinet, and then we have three processes that occur. We have transmission. Energy goes through the process through the cabinet. It doesn't stop everything. Nothing does. Not even concrete stops low frequency pressure. Reflection, some of it comes back. So some goes through, some goes back, and then some is absorbed in the center. Okay, so there's three things going on. That's why it's a balancing act in rooms to get enough surface area coverage, the right type, and put it in the right spot, okay? So we have absorption, transmission, absorption is the final process, that's our goal. So how do we get that? Well, inside the cabinet, due to the carbon technology that we use, the pressure is actually lower than the pressure outside the cabinet. So it's a pressure-based wave. So when it enters the cabinet, it sees an area of lower pressure. When that happens, it collapses, parts of it collapse. And that's how we get the attenuation or the absorption in the process. So the carbon filter is the big cause of all that. And that's basically a perforated absorber with our activated carbon or charcoal technology inside the diaphragmatic absorption. And carbon is a, an amazing kind of process because just a tablespoon of it, if you crush it out on a table, it's like 100 square feet. It just has a tremendous amount of surface area. So when you have that kind of surface area that's conducive to absorption, you really get high rates and levels of absorption if you use it correctly. So, so our ACDA series is really a perforated absorber inside a diaphragmatic absorber. I don't believe that's ever been done before. Perforated absorbers have been around for years. Diaphragmatic absorption has been around for years. But when you take the two and combine them together, especially with the carbon fill material for the perforated absorber, you get performances that have never been achieved before. So you can go on our website and look at the ACDA 10 and 12 performances there. So the cabinet depth of a diaphragmatic absorber determines how low it goes. I always say anybody can build a box that goes to 40 hertz. The key is how much do you get at that 40 hertz per square foot? Because it's one thing to go down that low, it's another thing to get enough of it to have an impact, an audible impact. Density of the cabinet's critical also. How much each square foot of the cabinet weighs, that's critical in the performance. So it's depth and density are the two things. And then we add our foam onto the face to achieve a much higher uh, level of absorption, going up to 6,300. What's magical about this, this is the frequency range mix engineers work in, that 30 to 40 to 6,300. So it just made sense to me to design a product that worked in the same frequency range as the music in which you're listening to was created, right? Our performance is in two groups. The 10 is broadband from 30 to 300, and then we add our foam, which makes it extend to 6,300. And then the 12 is our big sponge, 30 to 50. So when I set out to design these two units, and I measured hundreds of rooms, I kept seeing two major issues in the rooms, 30 to 50, 30 to 300. In every room, I think it was like 99% of the rooms that we measured. And we've built rooms that are 10, 10, 10, 40, 40, 40, and we have hundreds in between those two extremes. So I kept seeing these two frequency ranges of low frequency pressure issues. 
So that was the impetus behind the 10 and the 12. And then the foam technology, which took many, many years to develop, was a direct result of being completely dissatisfied with the performance of building insulation. Because 95% of the products in the marketplace were full of building insulation. They were called different things and they looked different, had fancier names, but inside they were all the same. So it was more marketing than it was performance. And I, I wasn't happy with the performance at all. In fact, most of them didn't even perform as advertised. So that was the impetus behind it. So just remember when you're dealing with low frequency pressure, you have to use a low frequency pressure technology and diaphragmatic absorption is the most powerful. And I have not found a product that performs as well as ours. So I think it's safe to say we have the highest rates and levels of lower frequency absorption ever created with a process that uses a perforated absorber inside a diaphragmatic. Our ACDA 10 and 12 series of diaphragmatic absorption. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.